You talk about how the Chinese consumer you believe is still strong, but also that this global macroeconomic uncertainty, and then we also have uh, the weakness in the Chinese economy. What sort of headwinds are you expecting from that? Well, if you look at our sector, you know, generally overall retail sales is still growing at 9%. And e-commerce uh, over the last quarter, uh, in the total market was growing 24%. And we have just reported our, our Tmall uh, GMV uh, is growing at 30%. So we're all growing the market. Uh, I think what you're seeing is uh, Alibaba uh, not necessarily entirely hitched to the, uh, to the economy and the consumption trends, uh, because what we're doing is uh, digitizing uh, not only our own platform, but also uh, the, the traditional retailers platform, helping enabling our retailers uh, partners to, uh, 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 to capture more customers and operate their business more efficiently. That's what we call our new retail strategy. Uh, so that's uh, uh, an area where we are very excited about. Now, you did beat on profit. I'm curious, you are facing rising competition in social commerce from Pinduoduo. Uh, there's also the competition from Tencent back Meituan in food delivery. What's the M&A strategy amidst these changing currents? Well, we've always had uh, strong competitors. I think, uh, to use a sports analogy, competition makes us better. It's uh, if you play against bad teams, uh, you're not going to improve yourself. So, uh, glad to have all the competition, but they are all in different sectors. There's really not a company that could really com compete with us on an entire platform basis uh, across commerce, entertainment, and local services. Uh, we now serve 600 million uh, active uh, consumers that are doing business, tra transacting on our platform uh, annually. Uh, so uh, this is, uh, this is uh, I, I think, our strength. Uh, and again, as I said, uh, as we tap into the new retail space, uh, which is uh, to enable the traditional retailers uh, to capture more of their sales, um, uh, that's, that's a market that is $5 trillion. Uh, so we effectively are increasing our total addressable market to $5 trillion U.S. dollars. President Trump said he had a very good conversation with President Xi focused on trade. Trade talks haven't resumed, but Bloomberg is reporting that he's asking top officials to start drafting an agreement. What's your reaction to that? Obviously, uh, any activity that will uh, uh, stave off uh, this trade tension is positive. Uh, there's really uh, no advantage to either side, the U.S. or China, uh, to get into a trade war because the two economies are so independent, uh, so sorry, so dependent on each other, very symbiotic relationship because they're the two largest uh, economies uh, in the world. So the future is really joined at the hip. Uh, so for example, uh, China is buying a lot uh, from the United States. $165 billion annually, annually of goods, and also another $40 billion of services that Chinese are buying from America. Uh, so if there's trade war, uh, tariffs, and so forth, uh, then uh, you know, there's going to reduce, be reduced business uh, from American uh, uh, exporters uh, selling into China. Uh, you also have 68,000 American companies that are operating in China uh, that are making uh, very good profits, uh, total aggregate revenue of American companies are $600 billion and another $40 right. billion dollars of profits. Uh, so you don't want that to go away. Uh, so it's a good thing that uh, the, the two presidents are sitting down and they're about to talk and we uh, hope that uh, some good things will come out of that and the tension will get reduced. One last quick question, Joe. Jack Ma said that uh, Alibaba would no longer be creating those one million jobs uh, that Alibaba had promised to create in the United States. As a result of this trade war, I have to say there was always some skepticism those jobs would actually be created. But if this drags on, how might Alibaba react? Well, remember, originally, uh, the job uh, creation uh, discussion is based on the premise of trade. Uh, and the trade flow was that we were going to help uh, small businesses in America to sell to Chinese consumers. Uh, so in the uh, wake of uh, all of these tariffs and tensions, retaliatory measures, uh, obviously uh, it wasn't the right thing to continue to uh, stick to that uh, commitment. Uh, but if there are 
uh, ways for uh, the, the two sides to resolve the tensions, uh, and then we can resume our activities uh, to help the SMEs, small businesses, and, and farmers in America to sell them to China. We certainly will come back in and be very uh, happy to uh, execute our plan on that front. All right, so if they stop, you can promise those one million jobs? We'll have to see what happens uh, from uh, these discussions uh, between the two presidents.